All right, we're now getting into the gray days of winter, and the time's going to roll back here, what, about three weeks from now, two weeks from now? November 6th, we go back to the 444. Or do we fall, for, we spring back and fall forward? Or fall back <laughs> and fall spring back forward? Fall back and spring fall forward. Back. It's always confusing, <laughs> I want right? It to be Whatever the other it way. is, it gets dark, right? <laughs> and we're talking about winter. Winter officially not kicking off until December 21st, but it feels like winter already with seeing the snow out there. And some of our cameras, Hurricane Ridge, and as we look over I-90, look at that pretty shot before the sun goes down tonight. We're seeing a dusting of snow. So here's where we are live, 52 degrees with our Capitol Hill camera. We're seeing a little bit of break in between the cloud decks here, and we're looking out at a gray day, and it's cooler than average, and we're seeing some showers, not heavy showers yet for most of us. We're seeing lighter showers up to the north sound. Northwest Washington coast, we'll get some of those heavier showers at Quileute and Nia Bay and Forks in those areas, but really light from Bellingham down through Cedro Woolley, Laconner, you're in a break, Anacortes, Friday Harbor getting a few sprinkles. So what can we expect as we get through tomorrow morning? Not a ton to work with. We're going to start to see showers diminish, and as we get through tomorrow night, same kind of goes. But it's really when we get into Thursday night into early Friday is where we start to pick up some of those rain chances. So we'll continue to keep going over this with team coverage, too, to keep you up to speed. But we're also looking at tracking snow totals. Not a lot to work with in the central and south Cascades. The northern Cascades, Mount Baker, yes, uh, that's pretty typical to get some snow flying there in the higher elevations for sure. Our snow levels pushing up to 4,500 feet tonight and 5,500 feet tomorrow. Unofficially about 53 today, the record 65 in a warm 1998 year, but it is fall and we are seeing temperatures right around average. For the most part, we've been cooler and that's certainly not how we went into the fall season. We were much warmer than average and we had a really dry start to our October. So any rain we get is great for the gauge at SeaTac. 51 at SeaTac, 33 over the summit as we'll call me with uh, Wenatchee, 51 degrees. We're seeing some upper 40s through the islands. Winds are pretty calm. We may get a little bit of breeze out there tonight, but we're going to talk about those winds as we go through, especially early tomorrow through midday, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. This is when uh, this stays current. So most of our Thursday for the northwest Washington coast, up through the north sound, including some of the islands, we could get those southerly winds gusting at times to 45 miles an hour. That could mean some isolated power outages and maybe some down trees pretty easily, at least some limbs of some trees. Here's a look in the morning hours, 9 a.m., 34 mile an hour gusts, 40 mile an hour gusts by 2 p.m. for the north sound and out along the coast. Pretty typical for these areas to get gusty when we get into this time of year. So tonight, as we saw, showers will decrease. Our temperatures will land in the uh, low to mid 40s for some of us, upper 40s for the Seattle area, about 59 tomorrow. And we're kind of going to ebb and flow with our seven day forecast. We'll get some dry breaks in between, but definitely breezy to gusty in some spots tomorrow. Friday, the second half of the day, looks better and then Saturday not a complete washout just a few showers Sunday it looks like we'll build on those showers and as we get into kickoff for the Seahawks could be pretty sloppy at times scattered showers for Halloween and we'll keep more of an eye on that as we get closer to next Monday for sure but we start to drop those temperatures into the upper 40s this time next week